Hello and welcome to this week's video. Um, this week, just come back um, to a location. I'm just checking it out. Um, those of you that may have seen my last video, um, I did mention that I've got my first workshop coming up this week. Um, so one of the locations I am looking to include in that workshop is, is here. Um, so, I'm just come to check it out just to make sure it's going to be suitable. Uh, water flow here is a bit less than I would normally expect. Um, there is a bit of rain forecast between now and the, the workshop on Tuesday, so that will probably help the situation. Although, with the flow as it is, it's still going to provide some opportunities. Okay, so let's uh, get into it and see what we can find. So, as the uh, same as water's meet uh, from a few weeks back, because the water levels are so low, it's both proving challenging but also rewarding because uh, I'm able to get into areas you can't normally get when the water flow is that much more without getting obviously seriously wet feet. Um, so, let me just show you my first shot of the day. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see there in the back of the camera um, what we've got looking back up through this set of small cascades. I've set this rock here right in the centre of the foreground. It may be a little bit too dominant in the scene, but um, I can't get back any further where I am at the moment. But even so, I've got the water flow coming either side of it and then these, these sort of little falls at the back as well. Um, I've got the sun sort of in front of me at the moment, which is proving a bit of a problem, but every now and again it does just dip behind the clouds. So uh, I'm at timing the shots, just waiting, timing the shots in the uh, as the sun sort of just dips, which is taking a glare off. I've got, I've got polarizer on anyway, which is just reducing the glare on the water. Um, I haven't put any other filters on just yet. We'll see how we get on. Okay. First shot done. Okay, one thing that is particularly noticeable at the moment is that the uh, fern and the undergrowth around either side of this uh, flow of water, down the east water at Horner, is um, very overgrown, which is making certain areas a bit difficult to access. Uh, so I'm having to come in up here and then I sort of basically clamber my way down through the rocks. Uh, but this is quite a nice little scene. Here again, I've got the camera set down really low using this, uh, this sort of bit of a small cascade here um, as a foreground and then leading up through to a background and some sort of nice sort of framed by a nice bit of greenery uh, some nice moss on the rocks as well which is adding a bit of color yeah once again not uh, not where I'd normally be able to stand but it's providing some different opportunities you've got to make the most of the conditions you've got Okay, uh, disappointingly, um, pathway is closed again uh, on a ash dieback route. So where I normally go up through the east water, uh, unfortunately, it's not accessible now. So which is a bit disappointing. Needless to say, Phil, by the time you see this video, you'll already know. But we're going to have to relocate for the uh, for the workshop. So we. Uh, I'll probably go to Waters Meat because it that's got plenty to offer as well as. So um okay. Disappointing. 
I'm going to walk back to where I was just now and see if there's any other compositions I can grab from there to make the trip worthwhile. Okay, so I've come back to the area I started. Um, I've taken a couple more shots, a um, couple of different compositions that I didn't have the first time that um, because I was planning on walking further up through. So I'll put them up and let you have a look. Um, but after slipping on one of the stones and going knee deep in the cold water, which is now filled my boot up and almost throwing the camera in the, in the drink at the same time, um, I think I'm going to cut my losses and say this is a worthwhile trip because obviously I've sussed out that like there's places I can't go for the workshop so I, I will stay clear of here now um, albeit uh, I haven't really got much from it other than a, a few few fairly nice shots so I'm gonna stroll back now unfortunately because I have to go back the way I came down I've got a steep climb back up normally I walk up the East River which takes you around <laughs> a bit more of a gentle gentle climb so up back at the steep climb back to back to the van so this one again follow on from the last one um just checking out an area that i've got in line for a uh, up and coming workshop so i'm just refreshing myself to the area and just getting some ideas uh, for the workshop so um so yeah let's have a walk through and see what we can see so the theme on this part of the workshop is um ancient woodlands and ancient wood woodland photography um and just uh based on compositions um how to spot compositions um settings etc that you might you might uh use or be interested in using uh when you're on a in the woodlands so so yeah that's uh things that are included in this ancient woodland uh, workshop <clears throat> Okay, so conditions are far from great this morning. Um, I thought there was going to be a little bit of low cloud, bit of mist, but it's uh, nothing at the moment. So just having a just scouting the area, um, just taking this composition here. Um, we've got this tree bending over, using this other tree here, basically framing the shot with this, and then using this pathway leading off into the distance <clears throat> as a bit of a mysterious sort of where's it going sort of scenario um so yeah so I've, I've just taken a focus on this tree and this tree just so that i've got those two sharp um i'm not worried about the back so much because i actually want that to be slightly blurred so i've i've actually got the aperture um close the aperture down slightly uh i've actually got it down at uh, 5.6 um which is still giving me a, a bit of depth of field so that these trees you know you're getting everything in focus around around that shot um but i'm also um just blurring the background slightly um like i say i'm getting a focus on this the, the two trees so that i can um, use that focus focus blend in uh, in the final image yeah not sure if it's gonna be that great but uh, here it is anyway I don't want to do the uh, 
typical photographer of moaning, but yeah, the light this morning is particularly crap, to be honest. Um, it's really dark skies. It's, it's early morning. Well, relatively early. Um, but there's just, just no light breaking through at all in any way. Um, like I say, the fact there's no light, it would be nice to have a bit of mist. Um, either or, but I've got none of that. So basically having to deal with what we've got. Um, so doing our best, seeing what we can, but like I say, scouting the area out, ready for up and coming workshops. Okay, I quite like the look of how intimidating this tree looks here. Um, it's a bit of a clearer area down here. There's a bit of light coming through on the surrounding surrounding grass. It's sort of backlit very slightly, which is silhouetting this outline of this tree, which is making it look like it's it's reaching out and it's just looking intimidating. So um, just going to grab the shot whilst I'm here. Again, a nice bit of mist around it would make all the difference, but um, there we go. Uh, so anyway, let's get the shot and walk on a bit further. There. Um, not many images today, but um, what I've got is it's just proven that you you can get um, some woodland photography images even in the even in the worst of conditions really for woodland photography but um, anyway I'll put a few of the images that I haven't already shown you up, up and let you have a look um, and I'm going to walk a bit further Okay, thanks for watching this week's video. Um, bit of a short one, not so much information as normal, um, but please check out some of my older videos, some of my other videos, um, to see what the channel is really about. Um, today is uh, just looking at some workshop locations. So um, if you'd like to have a chat to me about uh, coming along on a workshop, um, please drop me a message and i can give you some information on some different different themes different areas and things that i cover so um again once again thanks for watching this week's video please hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with the latest content and uh, give the video a thumbs up i'd be much appreciated and as always like i say drop me a comment down below just uh, for some feedback or to contact me for any other reason. Okay, till next time, take it easy.